What's going on, guys? Let's do a little weekend recap uh, on skills, SKLZ. So one of the reasons why I want to take a look at skills is obviously, um, you know, a bit of a down week. Friday down 43 cents, three and a half percent on the day. Current price is eleven dollars and ninety two cents. So with that being said, with that taken in mind, I think that right now we're in a potential loading zone for a for a long term swing and or if you're looking to stash this for um you know the long haul. We are coming off of earnings and the why why I say that we this is a potential uh loading zone here is if I do go to the daily chart and I kind of zoom out a little bit here, maybe zoom there we go, like this. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw this demand zone right in here. And the reason why I'm drawing this here is you can see going back to April, May, almost here in July, and obviously here in August, we have came, come down one, two, three times, four times. Uh, you know, the last three consecutive days we have been down here in this zone. We're currently at the lower Bollinger Band. Um, you know, we do have some hard, hard support down here at the linear regression line at $9.50. However, I don't see it coming down that far. If we do break down below uh, this $11.83, look for it to sort of bounce off in this area. I think that if you want to, to you know, pick this up and stash it for the long haul, definitely anywhere in the 11s, anywhere in the low 12s would definitely be a price to want to do that. Um, let me... Let me take this off. I don't know if you guys could see that one. So here, here is where we touched one time, two times, and now three, four times here down in this lower zone. So just kind of scrolling out to the big overall picture here, you can see this is going to correlate with going all the way back to August, uh, September, October area, even December or uh, November a little bit. Going back last year, obviously we hit lows of $10.35. Then we had this big, huge rally spike up to $46. So if you're looking for a potential loading zone, there's no other better opportunity than this. The stock cannot possibly go any farther. The, st the company is a good company. They're not going out of business. They're still generating revenue. Uh, sales are good. However, you know, they're just spending a lot of money on marketing. So they're missing the mark a little bit there. A lot of analysts and, you know, the street really doesn't like that. You know, they're spending more money right now than they're actually making on advertising uh, and so forth, which is not a bad problem, especially on a newer company, uh, especially a growth company. You're, you're going to need to spend those advertising dollars early so they pay dividends in the long run. So, you know, just looking at it from uh, a shorter term perspective here. If you were looking to load up here, you know, any loss being that we touched this two times here, any loss of about 1150 right in that area. If we do lose 1150, you could just easily get out of the trade. But if you do load here in the 1192, 1180 area, $12 area, you would be looking first to uh, start taking out this $13 area, 1370 and obviously 1465. Anything over, if I take this off, anything over 1465 here is gonna have room to stretch back up into the 16s. That would sort of break this downtrend that we've been on. But no other better opportunity here to, to load up on the stock if you're looking uh, you know, for a nice swing trade maybe six months down the road. Uh, definitely a good area here. I know a lot of times when you know stocks begin to sell off like this, people get you know a little skeptical and they don't really want to load here. But then when the stock comes back up 18, 19 and it's showing positive momentum, you start loading up here. This is the time where you start to load the boat, and this is a time where you're selling out and or holding on. Uh, you know, the, the time to buy is not when the stock is going to be back at 22, 24 dollars. You want to be in now, you want to be one of the first people on board, you want to be here early. So uh, guys, I do have a Discord down in the description box below. Also, if you could do me a favor, uh, give me a comment on this video. Uh, hit the thumbs up. Also, if you do like these type of videos, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 400 subscribers before the end of the month. That would help me out tremendously. But until next time, guys, I will see you guys all on the next video.